Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News tonight. I'm Gary Perna in for Paula Dagnan. A traffic stop in West Hazleton led to two men being arrested. According to West Hazleton Police, an officer was on patrol when he noticed a problem with a vehicle. During a during a course of a traffic stop, the driver and the passenger were found to be wanted. 30-year-old Justin Paul Haynes was wanted by Schuylkill County Adult Probation for violating probation conditions following a heroin sale conviction. Hines faces charges for false identification to law enforcement and drug-related charges as a result of this traffic stop. He was taken into custody and transported to Luzerne County Prison. The vehicle's operator, 35-year-old Joseph Michael Ellis of Hazleton, was wanted by Luzerne County Sheriff's Office for failure to appear. Ellis also faces drug-related charges and driving with a suspended revoked license as a result of the traffic stop. He was taken as well to the Luzerne County Correctional Facility. Over the weekend, Mahanoy City Police took two wanted people off the streets. Police say they conducted a search for fugitives hiding within the borough limits. Police found 49-year-old Michael Kane in the 600 block of East Center Street. He was wanted by Schuylkill County on a bench warrant. 30-year-old Cynthia Vasquez was located and taken into custody in the unit block of South A Street uh, by Schuylkill County bench warrant as well. Both individuals were transported to the Schuylkill County Prison. The warrant detail was headed up by patrolman Rochetter. A Schuylkill County man uh, is now injured when a roof collapsed on him Sunday. The man, whose name has not yet been released, was taken by Schuylkill EMS to Lehigh Valley Hospital Schuylkill with major injuries. The incident happened at 77 Silver Creek Road in Blythe Township. The home was being demolished when the roof collapsed. Responders from Casca, New Philadelphia, and Yorkville Fire and Rescue from Pottsville all responded to the scene. No word at this hour on the condition of that man or his name. Well, Hazleton's mayor and council president are at odds yet again. Mayor Jeff Cassatt believes city council members should consult with him before canceling their meetings. It was last week when we reported that council canceled their meeting since there was only one item on the agenda and a public meeting for Pell's finding about the finances is set for Thursday. Council President Robert Gavio said he felt that there was no need to have a meeting this week after talking with the one person who had the one item on the agenda and talking with the rest of council. The mayor feels there should have been a meeting so they could have a work session after to talk about a number of issues. Council's next regular meeting is set for February 28th. That's a Wednesday night. Friday evening, Republican lawmakers submitted a new map of the congressional boundaries in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It was late January that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that the current maps were unfair and gave an advantage to Republican candidates. You're looking at the uh, Oh, excuse me, the current map on your screen right now. The new map was drawn by House Speaker Mike Torzai and President of the Senate Pro Tem, Joe Scarnati. The governor now has to review the maps that were submitted to him by the Speaker and the President Pro Tem. Wolf was not very happy that it only took two of them to draw it up on the behalf of the entire General Assembly. Many lawmakers said they did not see what the GOP leadership sent to the governor. The governor can accept or reject the maps. He has until February 15th to send them to the state Supreme Court. If the Supreme Court does not, if the governor does not send them to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court themselves can redraw these maps. And if these maps hold true, as you can see, our area, many in our area will get new represent, representatives in Congress. Excuse me. Well, the 2018 gubernatorial candidate Scott Wagner and his running mate Jeff Burroughs received the Republican Party of Pennsylvania's endorsement at its winter meeting at the Hershey Lodge. Wagner and Burroughs both issued statements saying that they were honored to receive the endorsement from the state GOP. House Speaker Mike Torze officially dropped out of the race this weekend. Two others are in the race for governor on the Republican ticket. No word on their plans. Also this weekend, the Republican Party of Pennsylvania unanimously voted to endorse, endorse Lou Barletta for the U.S. Senate. 
In a statement, Barletta said he was honored to receive the endorsement of the Republican Party of Pennsylvania. Barletta was on hand for the event in Hershey. This was a busy weekend for Barletta, not only getting the endorsement from the PA party, but President Donald Trump tweeted an endorsement for him. Barletta also received endorsements from Vice President Mike Pence, U.S. Senator Pat Toomey, the entire Pennsylvania Republican congressional delegation, and dozens of Pennsylvania House and Senate members. The Senate race between Barletta and Senator Bob Casey is widely expected to be one of the top national races. Political name Congressman Barletta as the most watched candidate of 2018, while Roll Call named Senator Casey one of the top 10 most vulnerable senators up for re-election this year. Recent public polls show only 27 percent of Pennsylvania voters believe Senator Bob Casey deserves re-election. Coming up on WYLN News, students were learning about robots and how they assist in surgery. Well, that's story ahead. Plus, are you looking for a summer job? We'll let you know who's hiring. But first, let's take a look at the seven-day forecast here. And for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a high of 38, overnight lows, 26. No, mostly cloudy skies come back in for a high of 48. It's going to get a little warmer than showers are going to move back into our area Thursday and Friday. Still keeping a little warm so we don't get really so much ice at night, hopefully. Saturday for the beginning of our weekend, partly cloudy skies, a high of 36. Stay with us. Tom Wolf's never-ending tax hikes have hurt Pennsylvanians. Wolf's record on jobs, a disgrace. I've spent my life signing the front of paychecks. Companies create jobs, not politicians. And we'll create more paychecks by cutting big government. My plan eliminates the property tax, cuts wasteful spending, and makes government accountable to us instead of the Harrisburg insiders. Tough. Businessman. Conservative. Scott Wagner for governor. Are you in good hands? Call Gary McNeilis of Allstate Insurance for all your insurance needs. The McNeilis Agency has two locations to conveniently serve you, 1092 North Church Street in Hazel Township and Hometown Village Square in Hometown. Their quality service-oriented agency will make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call in Hazel Township at 570-454-1981 or in Hometown at 570-668-5133. Are you in good hands? ETA Benefits is a full-service independent insurance agency and employee benefits advisory firm proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania since 1999. Specializing in employee health insurance plans, Medicare supplement and prescription drug plans, as well as auto, home life, and business insurance. ETA Benefits is licensed with over 50 carriers, giving them tremendous buying power to find a policy that is best for you. To request a free, no-obligation appointment, call 570-669-5050 or go online to etabenefits.com. Robotic surgery is being performed right here in Hazleton. It started in January. And today, students from Weatherly area got hands-on experience with the robot. Plus, the wait is finally over. The Da Vinci robot's name has finally been released. Our Julie Stefanovich has more on both these stories. Six through 12th grade students from Weatherly's Health Careers Club visited Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton this morning for an up close and personal look at the new Da Vinci robot. With the assistance of Dr. Jill Snyder, each of the students had the chance to experience firsthand how the robot performs. They're actually getting to spend time on the console and actually uh, perform a little bit of robotic exercises themselves. So I think it's so much more important for young kids um, to do something hands-on. They learn so much more and it's so much more um, impressionable for them when they actually get to participate in something. So I think this is a great thing for the community. Many of the Health Careers Club members were interested to find that the surgeon actually performs the operations. The robot's role is to hold all of the instruments using four mechanical arms. Um, so far we learned how to kind of use the Da Vinci robot. We were able to take turns and move things around and we learned like you know, what the different parts of it do and kind of that it's, the surgeon is also still involved in the process. It's a very interesting thing just because of how modern technology is and everything. 
Robotic surgery has been performed at Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton since the beginning of the year. We're the last hospital in the uh, Lehigh Valley group to be employing robotic surgery. So they've been doing it down at the Cedar Crest campus for a number of years. Our Schuylkill campus and Pocono campus are up and running with their robotics program and our robot was just put into use January 3rd. And we have um, three general surgeons to that use the robotic surgery on their patients for doing various procedures and I'm the only gynecologist here at Lehigh Valley Hazleton that's utilizing the robot for ovarian cystectomies, endometriosis surgery, and uh, hysterectomies. A Name the Robot contest was held for area students and ideas were submitted to the hospital. The afternoon it was finally revealed and the winning name was Apollo. So congratulations to Megan Kernis for choosing the winning name. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. And we'll have more on the robot and the naming competition tomorrow on WYLN News. The Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission is accepting applications for toll collectors, maintenance, clerical, and engineering positions for this summer. Toll collectors must be available to work any of the three shifts over a 24-hour period, including weekends and holidays. Employees will work a 40-hour a week and will not receive benefits. The pay $11.50 per hour for toll collectors and $11 per hour for the other positions. All eligible candidates must be at least 18 years of age and completed a secondary education program such as a high school or GED at the time of hiring. Their program is limited to 16 weeks per employee and runs between May 1st and September 30th. Those participated in the program previously must resubmit their applications for consideration. All applications must be submitted online at paturnpike.com slash employment. And applications should be, an applicant, excuse me, should select summer work in the first step of the registration progress. Coming up here on WI News, on Gilberton's News Choice, a community and you, we learn about the American Cancer Society Telethon. Plus, are you ready for a new job? We'll tell you about a job fair that's coming up. But first, let's take a look at today's midday winning lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. right you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car truck or SUV from Barber Ford two great locations Exeter and Hazelton the best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe 28 minutes from Tamaqua 20 minutes from Shavertown and 28 minutes from Clark Summit Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazelton online at barberautogroup.com where nobody but nobody sells for less e &R Cycle, located on South Route 309, is now your Textron Off-Road side-by-side ATV dealer. Textron Off-Road is proud of their past and driven by the future to give you the best off-road ATV with power and performance. You can build and price your vehicle. Choose from the basic Stampede to Stampede 4X or the side-by-side -side Wildcat Trail to the Sport or LTD model. No matter which one you choose, you'll have an ATV that will get the job done. Stop in or call e &R Cycle at 570-455-7430. This is what it can feel like when you outgrow your internet speed. Chances are you have more internet connected devices in your home than you did a year ago. Switch to Service Electric Cablevision Internet for the right fit for all your devices. SECV delivers the speed and reliability you need with no contract required. Call 877-955-SECV or visit secv.com slash internet.
Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN, everyone. I'm Gary Perrin. I'm very pleased to have with me once again Jane Doherty and Clem Yumona, the co-chairs for the 40th annual American Cancer Society Telethon that will be broadcast right here on WYLN and live from our studios this year at 10th and Thompson. And Clemmy, every year when we get together, the telethon has a, a theme. We have a mission statement uh, through the ACS. And this year, the theme is actually playing on our years of service a little bit. Yes, it's 40 years of giving so many can go on living. What a great statement. It, it, it's terrific. And that's exactly what has occurred in the 40 years. Because at the very beginning, we couldn't get a survivor mm -hmm. to come on and present themselves because it was supposed to be a curse. Mm -hmm. And they used to call it the C word. But as a result now, survivors come on and they wear it like a badge of courage. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful to know that we've seen these people over the years come on with their plight, that they're on chemo and whatnot, and now they're functioning a normal life. And it's a wonderful thing. It is. It's truly amazing to see. And during the telethon, Joe Clark usually has the survivor interviews, and it's just so amazing to hear the, their stories, uh, how it was found, the, the, the road they've, they've gone through, um, all the treatment, and to be in remission or to be, to be getting to remission and talking about living and, and, and going forward. And that kind of plays into the mission statement for the ACS. The, uh, the mission statement is terrific. The American Cancer Society's mission is to save lives, celebrate lives, and lead the fight for a world without cancer. That's what we're here for. And th you know, it's amazing. We would love in our lifetime, my lifetime anyhow, to say we're out of business, we close our doors. Mm -hmm. And hopefully there have been so many advances and all due to your, the monies received for research and also for services that we give to our survivors and as well as patients. All right. And that's one thing, you know, we, we talk about raising the money and doing the telethon and seeing exactly where all that money goes to. And Jane, a good chunk of it, most of all of it, stays right here in the Greater Hazleton area. Yes, absolutely it does, Gary. Our services include things like the Road to Recovery program, which is a program of volunteer drivers who will take you to your cancer treatment no matter where, no matter how many times, no matter the weather, even like today when it's snowing. We have a free wig program no questions asked, professionally styled. We have a Look Good, Feel Better program also where professionals will help you to learn how to fix your, your hair and do your makeup so you look a little bit more normal while you're undergoing treatment. There's Hope Lodge. We have two of those in Pennsylvania, Hershey and Philadelphia, where you, can, you and your family can stay for free while you're undergoing treatment. Mm -hmm. Many, many wonderful services. Of course, we also fund research, and that's very necessary because that's how we're finding cures for cancer. In Pennsylvania, there are 47 Nobel Prize winners who have done cancer yeah. research for the American Cancer Society, and that's just a wonderful thing. Without research, we would be back in the dark ages yet, but look how far we've come in our 40 years. And, and I know, and, and just looking at that, you know, Clemmy had said, you know, 40 years ago, couldn't get somebody to come on as a, as, as a survivor and talk about it. Today, I mean, we have one or two an hour, uh, plus more, <laughs> that, that come in and talk we, to We'll us. have at least two every hour. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, and that's just the, the testament of the work that's being done, the research that's going into it, and now being able to suppress it, go into remission, and have these people come and talk about it. And, you know, there's a gamut, uh, a list of, of cancers, and we've seen even come through our telethon of people talking about what they're, they're doing and, and how they're doing each and every year. And there are a lot of services, as we said, provided. There's a lot of uh, things that people don't even know of that the ACS does, especially when they're going through treatment and getting help, getting their family help as well. Yes, indeed. We have all of the services that I spoke about before, but we have a lot of things that don't cost the American Cancer Society money. Mm -hmm. I brought my props today. We have groups of people who make these. Mm -hmm. They're called chemo caps. They, do, they are donated to the American Cancer Society. We donate them to cancer patients in the greater Hazleton area. When you're losing your hair, especially in the winter like this, you need something to keep you warm. We have hats. Um, we have a great group called the Cranberry Quilters in Hazleton. They make these. They make tote bags. And in the tote bag is a pillow that you can hold when you're undergoing treatment. Makes things a little more comfortable. 
and they also have <coughs> this <coughs> is a hand warmer. You can put your hands in there, keep them nice and toasty, and a seatbelt cover. This is important if you're undergoing radiation and you come out, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but you need to wear your seatbelt, of course. This will make it a little bit easier for you. And the last one is a new product. And this came about from my church, actually, First Presbyterian Church in Hazleton. And we're calling these Mia Strong Bags. And Mia is a little girl who lives in Ohio, but her parents are from Hazleton. Her grandparents still live here. Her great-grandparents live here. She recently underwent treatment for Burkitt lymphoma. She's six years old. Wow. When she was in the hospital in Ohio, she got some supplies that made her day a little brighter. And my church decided that we would make them for patients in the greater Hazleton area. What's in a, a Mia Strong bag? Things like this Play-Doh, a puzzle, some colored pencils, some drawing, coloring books, and a book that the American Cancer Society produced called I Can Survive. So every child will get one of these bags in the Hazelton area, and we're calling them Mia Strong bags in her honor. Wonderful. So there is a lot that goes on, and where this money goes to, you know, it stays here in our area, so we can be able to provide the services uh, to everyone throughout the greater Hazelton area who is battling cancer and help them get through this, and there's just a lot. So again, Telethon is Saturday, February 24th, here at the WYLN Studios from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and you can call that famous number to get all that information. What am I missing, Clemmy? Well, that we have another co-chairman. It's Randy Pachins. Right. Now, she's in phase of the entertainment, mm -hmm. and she has two wonderful co-chairmen with Sherry O'Donnell and Michelle Jaroski, and they coordinate all the entertainment we get from start to finish. And it's a job where well, we have such great talent in Hazleton mm -hmm. that it's not only Hazleton, Hazleton area, and they attract, and they also manage with fashion shows, and they put on different, and it makes it entertaining mm -hmm. as well. It's just not us pitching for money. Wonderful. That's right. We have a lot that goes on with these telephones. A lot of entertainment and uh, fun. It really is to come out and see what goes on here at the ACS Telethon. Thanks for joining us here on Community and You. We'll see you next time. For four generations, All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup with a snow dog plow, or have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. February is Ram Truck Month. Stop in today. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Modern therapeutic staff take pride in providing quality care in a professional setting. In-home care for homebound patients and provide free transportation to and from our location. Modern Therapeutics, 1109 West 15th Street, Hazleton. Northeast Gold and Silver inside the Churchill Mall is paying cash for gold and silver. Top dollar for silver coins, national currency, fine and sterling flatware. Stop in or call them at 570-497-4177. Pennsylvania Career Link in Luzerne County is partnering with the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce to present the 2018 Job Fair Thursday, March 22nd at Genetti's at around 309 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. At no cost for local job seekers, this is an opportunity to find a new career or a new path if you're trying something different. It gives somebody that opportunity to go face-to-face -face with somebody who's involved in the hiring process and to really make that great first impression. So when they go back to the office with that stack of applications or resumes that they're going to get that day, you're going to stand out by making a great impression speaking to them one-on-one. -on -one. Pennsylvania Career Link also offers their help to find for 
job seekers to get ready for the event at their office, 75 North Laurel, Laurel Street in Hazleton. You know, you need to be appropriately dressed, you need to have a resume with you, and you need to prepare that 30-second um, elevator speech so that when you do get an opportunity to speak to the employer, you can tell them succinctly who you are and what skills you have to offer to their company. If you are a recruiting employer, another sold out crowd is expected this year. You're encouraged to register for the event at the Chamber's website. There's around 60 employee employers so far signed up. Half the booth space are already reserved. Tomorrow, the W Island sports crew will be back out to bring you the Pittston at Hazleton Boys game. The game hits your TV screens at 7.30 live on WYLN TV from the Hartman, excuse me, from the Hazleton area high school. Make sure you join Marty Burns and Joe DeMalfi for the call. Again, the Pittston at Hazleton Boys game will be live tomorrow night here on WYLN at the Huey, uh, Huey McGee Gymnasium, not Harmon Geist Field. I'm already for football season here. All right, stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. For creative cuisine and handcrafted cocktails, visit Four Blooms in Drums. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless, heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600.